hello there this video will be covering the complete demonstration about the token booking forms so in order to activate these booking forms go to the extensions and search for the token booking form so it would appear here as well so uh, you can click on activate as it is already activated let us go to the admin dashboard and under the settings you will be having an option for the form editor so in this form editor you can see the existing forms and uh, you can edit those forms as well and either you can add the forms so talking about the booking form it is uh, basically used for planning the orders which are created from web and they also refer as an alternate to the customer facing app because if some of uh, your customers are you do not have the customer facing application or something like that but you still want your orders to be pushed onto your admin dashboard so you can use the token booking forms so you know creating a booking form will generate a url which could be shared with the customers or your end staff so yes you can click on add form and uh, you can enter any of the domain or which you want whichever you want we can get it white labeled as well so uh, yes uh, the after the domain pointing so this is the workflow of pickup and delivery the appointment workflow the field workforce it depends like uh, it totally depends upon your business use case so yes so we can set it to pickup and delivery we can set the job type to either it should be only pickup either only delivery or both pickup and delivery so that uh, again depends upon your business use case as well so we can set it up to anything so this is the task template so this is one of the major thing uh, that we could use here supposedly you want for this particular uh, you are having two to three uh, types of businesses one is for the food delivery so you can select the template you can create a different template only that would be only linked to this particular form so you can uh, supposedly we uh, we have already added a template of food delivery so when you go to the form editor again when you click on add form uh, yes uh, now we click on yes now select the particular template of food delivery so this would be referred as your first business use case for which this particular template would be used so yes you can select this template and uh, after that uh, the template is selected you can select the theme color as well which particular color scheme you want and that color uh, code would be referred to all of your uh, you know uh, the dashboard that you will be creating and uh, all of the things so the law this is the another main field uh, that we has that is the login uh, is required or not so in this particular case what would happen is if the login is required the end uh, user would be logging in and he could see the history of his tasks as well like how many tasks has he created in the lifetime and uh, what is its status it is uh, assigned it is unassigned and all the things like that so yes this was for the login and the sign up like if uh, you wanted to make your url open to end customers as well like you're uh, you're running a marketing campaign and something like that so if you go to the auto assigned enable so yes you can get the task or uh, the feature where you could uh, get the task as auto assign in which the normal auto allocation would work and if you do not want you can toggle it to no so allow autofill information so in this what would happen is supposingly uh, you have uh, 50 of the customers let me quickly go to that so yes uh, now we have the option for the autofill information in this case what would happen is uh, like uh, you know if you sell, uh, set it to yes the details would be filled in automatically without any hustle like uh, if you enter one name of uh, the end customer so the rest of the information would be filled automatically and the basic fields uh, like uh, pizza and if you could say like if he has previously ordered pizza and something like that so that field would be automatically uh, filled so this is for the autofill information so here you are basically granting the permission uh, for accessing this information so this is one of the another main feature that we have in the token booking form that is create a recurring task so one of your end customer is there who basically orders uh, daily uh, and uh, he already orders considering a use case where he orders every monday so you can create a recurring task so you can either allow uh, uh, the permission of uh, allow to search all customers so in that case what would happen is uh, the, your uh, end merchant who will be creating the order for you would be able to access the details of the customers as well so if you do not want you can toggle it to no so we have the option to show the ma map uh, in terms of uh, uh, dark or light so these are all the possible uh, languages that we have already integrated with token which you can select according to your uh, usability 
So this is one of the main feature uh, that is Hippo enabled is basically Hippo what does is if your merchant is facing any kind of issue or something like that, he could directly chat with the admin. So in terms of, uh, you know, login icon and navigation icon, what happens is if you can set it, set your own company logo as well. So in terms uh, for your, you know, the, if you want your token uh, booking form to be white labeled on your own company's name, the domain pointing would be done from the back end, whereas the logo and everything you can set up from here as well. Like uh, all of the logos would appear of your own company name. So this was for the login icon. Uh, where at the time of login this particular option would appear and this is for the navigation icon so uh, you can uh, choose all of the possible images and you can click on save so now this particular uh, template or this particular template uh, of food delivery is uh, set with this particular URL so you can share this particular URL with your end customers or you can say end merchants who will be pushing the task to your admin dashboard so if taking an example, uh, yes, if taking an example of another, um, uh, you know, uh, booking form that is already created. So this one we have created it now, but uh, showing you the history of uh, another uh, booking form as well, like uh, let me open this. So yes, now if we open this, you can see the option uh, and here the template is different because you, uh, this would be supposedly referred to as your second business use case which you have delivered it to other uh, merchants who are managing the medicines and something like that so this would be for the food delivery let me quickly sign up because uh, we have set the option for the sign up as well so uh, let me quickly share it for the test so yes this is the form that we have created right now at the time of supposedly food delivery so you can see like here the uh, you know place order option is there you can enter the details and the template which we were referring of food delivery is already listed here and here it is different so you can manage uh, multiple of your businesses in a single go so yes the templates would be different the whole flow would be different so yeah in this case you know you can add a row and you can enter the details or like uh, the item name the description the quantity and every possible thing so if one of your customer orders uh, pizza ev on every Monday considering food delivery, so you can set this to repeated task. It would be repeated according to your business use case. So yeah, let me quickly create a test task. So you just need to enter the location and it would be fetched automatically. Yeah, so you can add the reference images and all sort of things. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let me quickly set up the time. So let's click on oh, just a second. Let us do something. Let's select another date. Oh, yes, because it was referring that the current time should be greater than the current time. We were selecting the previous time for the delivery. So yes, now we have created this task and in the order history, you can check the live status of your task like this will, this would be task ID this would be the order ID and complete before and the task status that would be reflected here that would be the live update so even the favorite location refer here is supposedly many of the customers have uh, ordered through this uh, particular address and that particular so yeah those details would be listed over there you can set up a favorite location so as we were talking about hippo like I want to cancel my previous order I could directly ch chat here like I want to cancel the order so yes so this chat would be automatically shared with the admin. So the admin could go to his Hippo dashboard, Hippo admin dashboard. And here you can see the same chat from that merchant or the end customer which you could say like I want to cancel the order. And the admin could reply and the same chat would be referred here like yes. So this is how the whole token form works. Thank you.